Yeah, good morning, Whitney. Good morning, Colton. This is a busy area, especially when it comes time for people leaving for work this time of the hours. As a matter of fact, let's go to our AZ Family drone. I'll show you what area I'm talking about. This is Buckeye here from 67th Avenue all the way down to the 202. A lot of folks, as I mentioned, the area that we're standing in right now, it's more of an industrial area. No homes around here, but just past 67th Avenue is right where you see all the folks live. But it remains closed in both directions as detectives continue continue to investigate this deadly crash involving a semi and a woman walking along Buckeye Road. Now, Phoenix police tell us they got called out around 1.30 this morning to 63rd Avenue in Buckeye, where they found a woman who was struck by a semi. She said they, they say she was walking along Buckeye Road here. There were no crosswalks uh, in the area. The driver of the semi has stayed on scene and is talking to detectives at this time who they do not believe impairment is a factor. Now, uh, Phoenix police have identified the woman, but they are not releasing her name until they notify next to kin. They tell us that uh, Buckeye will remain closed for at least the next two hours as they continue to process this scene. Now, we just noticed they uh, lifted up their, their drone, the Phoenix Police drone. They use that to map the area here. And once that mapping is done and they're able to kind of clear the scene, then Buckeye will be open. I would just steer clear of this area at least for the next two hours. All right, Gibby, thank you for that.